there's a hidden treasure tucked away in the mountains of southeastern Kentucky. If you're coming from Lexington or Louisville or someplace like that, when you get to Pineville or Harlan, it's still another hour or so driving. They're, they're pretty remote locations. It's called Martin's Fork, and it's a unique place that remains much like it did hundreds of years ago. Well, Martin's Fork is actually adjacent to uh, Cumberland Gap uh, National Park. So this is most literally what the first Kentuckians <laughs> would have seen as they came through Cumberland Gap was a, a forest much like this. Martin's Fork is essentially a river that time forgot. And that's exactly how the people who take care of it want you to experience it. These areas are, these are the last that we have that are fairly pristine. Uh, there has been some uh, historic logging on this property, but the forest has started to recover. You don't find places like this anymore. You have absolutely zero development up in this watershed. The water is crystal clear. You don't have any sort of runoff issues as far as uh, nutrients from agriculture. Martin's Fork was purchased by the Kentucky Division of Water and managed in cooperation with the Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife and the Kentucky State Nature Preserves Commission. This is 1,600 acres. The Martin's Fork Wild River Corridor was designated back in the early 80s as a state wild river. We purchased this property in the, over several acquisitions throughout the late 90s and early 2000s. The river itself is a treasure, one that people who oversee it work to protect. The really showcase of this area is the stream itself. Uh, uh, which is one of the purest in Kentucky. It's one of Kentucky's nine wild rivers. Biologists say it is a treasure trove filled with abundant wildlife on display. That is, if you don't mind getting a little wet and dirty. If you really are interested in getting in, getting your hands dirty and digging around, you know, today we found several salamander species. Uh, we found the green salamander, which is under consideration for federal endangered species listing as we speak. Not just salamanders, but everything from snakes to bears can be found in this pristine area. Well, you're not necessarily going to see those things if you're out hiking, but their habitat is here. Um, we uh, recently, of course, have an increase in bear population in this part of the state, and we actually saw some bear tracks earlier today. Uh, you're not very likely to see them, but, they're, but they are here. Yeah, we came across uh, a northern water snake, which is probably maybe even the most common snake in the state. You find them in creeks and rivers all over the state. Totally non-venomous. They, they, they bite, so you still probably don't want to pick them up like I did and get bitten. We saw a black rat snake, which is another fairly common snake species. In a place like this with the diversity of habitats, you'll pretty much find everything in it that is possible to find in this range will be here at a, at a place like Martin's Fork. Uh, we like to uh, go in and do general biological inventories from time to time to see what plants and animals are living on the property, see if we can find some new records of some species that we maybe haven't encountered before. And uh, we really have just now getting started on the small mammal community inventory here. So we don't know yet what we're going to find as far as uh, our mice and voles and shrews and small mammals. 15 for the ear. One of the things we do, you know, we monitor the, the rare plants here and the rare uh, animals. Uh, there's been nine rare plants found here, actually. When I'm saying rare, I'm talking about uh, either special concern, threatened, or endangered in the state of Kentucky. So we monitor those to make sure that they're not disturbed in any way. To be able to go in, catalog the plants and animals that we have on site, look at population trends, see what's declining, see what's improving, and be able to do some small-scale manipulation to see if we can recover some species that maybe be on the, are on the decline. Uh, that's very fulfilling. Those familiar with Martin's Fork say a must on the list of things to visit is Quadrule Falls. Apparently there was a, um, uh, a group of Native Americans that lived in the Wallens Creek section of uh, Harlan County years ago, and they were actually called the Quadrules. And that's how the name Quadrule Falls came about. It's a 16-foot waterfall up near the headwaters of uh, Martin's Fork itself. It's a, it's a long hike to get to it. It's probably three and a half miles to four miles up the stream to get to Quadrule Falls. It's a slick bedrock. You have to watch where you step. And once you get up there, you're rewarded with a 16-foot waterfall that's just absolutely pristine. It depends on how much the average person likes to hike and get wet and fall down. It's all in the creek and it's, uh, you're going to get wet and it's pretty, pretty slow going. 
But once you get here, it's, it's a pretty nice uh, destination. Some say Martin's Fork is a place for families to reconnect and revisit an often forgotten, simpler time. I've got two small kids. I bring them out to places like this on the weekends, let them play in the creek, let them go catch crawdads. It's, uh, it's just a good way to get kids outdoors, a good way to get people outdoors and experience what Kentucky has to offer. We're in a mountain stream in Kentucky that uh, looks like something you'd find on National Geographic magazine. Most people don't realize that we have this sort of thing in Kentucky, which is a shame. I wish they'd get out more and go out, kick around. You walk 30 feet off of the road in Martin's Fort and you're into this beautiful stream that most people probably drive right by and don't even realize exists. Conservationists say it's important to preserve these places for future generations to enjoy. We estimate we lose about 120 acres a day to development in Kentucky on average. So, you know, we lose a lot of land like this and we don't make any more of it. So if we don't protect the, the few spots we have left, we, uh, they're irreplaceable, basically. Martin's Fork is about 1,600 acres of uh, pretty mature forest. And of course, as time goes on, it becomes more mature and becomes habitat for even potentially more critters that are out there. It's very important because it will be preserved for uh, future generations, you see. And to be, be an actual nature preserve, our goal, our mission, is to protect Kentucky's best remaining uh, natural areas. It's a preserve that everyday Kentuckians have helped make a reality. We try to kind of spread the word that these places are here for you to enjoy. Uh, they are purchased, I, I should say, by, by people who buy our nature's finest license plates. So if you have one of those plates on your car, you help to purchase this, and we encourage people to come out and hike around and enjoy them. Those who oversee Martin's Fork say it's a privilege to protect this amazing place for future generations to enjoy. This is the way the land looked hundreds of years ago. It's good to have that as a remnant to have people go back in, experience nature how it was when uh, pioneers first came into Kentucky.